big news, really, really big news. Tomorrow night, we are going to a Harry Potter trivia night. I feel like I've waited my whole life for this. I feel like I've spent my whole life preparing for this. I'm in the right frame of mind. I'm ready, I'm prepared. We got this. Now I'm so excited. We're going with one of my friends. Brandon is coming. They have got Harry Potter themed drinks. There's butterbeer, there's giggle water, there's polyjuice potion. Oh, I just can't even deal. We're dressing up. Brandon and I, um, we've got like matching Harry Potter t-shirts. We actually have several matching Harry Potter t-shirts to tell you the truth. Uh, so we're gonna wear them. Um, and my friend Crystal, she's, I think she's gonna wear a matching t-shirt with another girl that's going, um, honestly, so excited. I just feel like oh, a little bit nervous. There's a lot of pressure. We gotta win. We absolutely have to win. There's surely nobody else there that knows Harry Potter as well as we do. Surely not. Been doing some practice quizzes and I gotta tell you guys, got all of the answers right. Like, duh, hello. Preparation is key though. In this situation, preparation is absolutely key. Wish us luck, guys. Wish us luck. <laughs> Just made dinner. We're sitting down to have dinner and I'm giving Brandon the ultimate Harry Potter. I'm not doing that well. <laughs> quiz test. How did Harry get the scar on his forehead? It's from Voldemort. It's a Horcrux. Mm -hmm. What's Hermione's cat's name? Scabbers. No, that's the rat. That's Ron's rat. Yep. And the cat's always trying to eat Ron's rat. Yep. And the cat's name is Crookshanks. <laughs> Crookshanks. Well done, baby. Yes. Well, who is Scabbers, really? Um, what's his face? Um, that will not cut it as an answer. What's his face? <laughs> um, Wormtail. What does the mirror of Erised do? Shows you your heart is, heart's greatest desire. Yeah. Mine would show me you. <laughs> what magical talent does Harry share with Voldemort? Parcel tongue. Mm -hmm. See, you're coming He's in. He's a parcel mouth. Yep. You're coming in hot now. How did Moaning Myrtle die? She was killed by a basilisk. Yes! You are killing it! How did Hermione take extra lessons in her third year? She had a time turner. Yes! Uh, how is Dobby freed? Well, Harry tricks Lucius Malfoy mm -hmm. into giving Dobby a sock. Yes! Uh, what kind of dragon did Harry face in the Triwizard Tournament? Hungarian Dawn Ridgeback. Oh, you're so close! Hungarian horn tail. Oh. <laughs> you should have trusted you got the first time. <laughs> to make some of this custard it's like protein powder that's custard don't let the people fool you people will tell you that this tastes good they're lying it tastes less than amazing it's 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 look last time the first, i've only ever had it once and i made it with water and it was like ugh. i'm gonna make it with full cream milk and see how that goes milk. It's mediocre at best. But you also added stevia and salt, and I feel like yeah. that really helped. So let's give it a go. Uh -huh. Look how disgusting this looks. It Whoa. says here, Agnes Slytherin or the Bloody Baron? Oh. I'm going to say Agnes Slytherin. Yeah, I'm going to go she with... She was the founder of Ravenclaw, and they kind of split ways. Agnes Slytherin. Yeah, I'm going to go with Slith. Is it the texture that throws me off? Is it the smell? Is it just the overall foulness? Who was Dumbledore's oldest friend? I think I'm going to ditch this and have some chocolate instead because look, it looks like vomit. I also need to follow this up with... <laughs> how disgusting that is. This cost $70. I've added stevia. I've added salt, I've added milk, and it's still, oh, that's Emma saying hello to the bunny rabbit. It still tastes like a butt. <laughs> Why do people eat this? Look at this mountain of PR packages that I have to open. <laughs> 
Um, I'm thinking, do I open them on the vlog or should I collect like a couple of weeks worth and do a big PR unboxing for you guys, like a whole video on it? Let me know in the comments if that's something that you enjoy watching, if that's not something that you enjoy watching. Um, I'm particularly excited about this one here at the bottom, Drunk Elephant. Oh, love Drunk Elephant skincare. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. All right, so I'm about to start filming for the day. I've got another foundation review that I, I feel like it's foundation season. I feel like we're doing so many foundation reviews. Um, this one I'm really excited about. It is the Sephora foundation that everybody is literally talking about. Best skin ever. Will this give me the best skin ever? I don't know, but yeah, just about to start filming. Uh, surprisingly... <laughs> It is still clean in here. I'm really proud of myself. I've actually maintained the cleanness. Let's see how, let's see what the desk looks like after I'm done filming. <laughs> All right, the foundation is on. Starting the wear test. Just received some sad news, guys. I just need a minute. My friend, she's too sick to come to Harry Potter trivia night tonight. So it's canceled. Oh, it's okay. The, the studying and the preparation was not for nothing. I think what we'll do is we'll plan a fully Harry Potter themed evening here at my house and we'll have our own Harry Potter trivia. And that way my sister can come too because she is also just as much a Harry Potter nerd as I am and as Brandon is. The competitiveness has not left my body. Harry Potter spirit is real. This is what we're making. Uh, spiced chicken and Caribbean coconut sauce. I'm thinking, let's add extra veggies. Pumpkin's free food. Don't you agree? It is relatively free, yeah. That is not supportive. That attitude. <laughs> How many staircases are there at Hogwarts? 142! Yes! Yes! Who is the ghost of Hufflepuff? You know what they say, peas get degrees. Who is the master of death? Harry. Yes. What was Dumbledore buried with? The older one. Yes. Also need to tell you guys about something. Remember, well it was last night, how badly I was complaining about the protein the powder that's custard. Butt tasting custard. What do you do? <laughs> butt, butsted. <laughs> what it's <do> you... busted. <laughs> Busted custard. <laughs> busted custard. Oh my god, that's so funny. Um, what do you do when you get protein custard that tastes like a butt? Get more. You get more. You like butts. <laughs> and we cannot lie. I love the I, I like butts. Okay, so we went back and we got some other flavours because we thought potentially the issue was the flavour that we chose. Golden ice cream. I actually had this and it tasted delicious. It did. Banana, choc mint. It's a shame that we couldn't get little sample packs to actually taste it. We had to get the big boys. <laughs> uh, we'll report back on on the thoughts. Look, if what? If Muscle Nation wants to send us all the flavors, <gasps> I'm happy to try them out. Look, you know? if. If you I'll want to, a full in depth review. We'll do it, okay. <laughs> oh, the banana one's got two grams more protein. Oh, that's my one. Sh shredded. I'm gonna have another one. I'm gonna, you're gonna make banana after dinner, and I'm gonna make choc mint after dinner. And then if they're vomit worthy, maybe we'll do a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> the girl did say <sighs> that. Um, I think she said that the golden ice cream tasted a little bit like vomit. Yeah, but that's the one I ate. Then you liked it. Yeah, apparently I like vomit and butt. Great. <laughs> we added an extra zucchini from our garden. I find it really satisfying seeing all the veggies chopped up on the tray. Do you find this satisfying? Yeah. I just, I'm really into it. I've been outside playing with the little bunny rabbit and Brandon's made dinner. I like how you've pushed it all to one side of the plate. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a special presentation method? Well, I was going to put the chicken on the side, but then I just decided to put it on top. It looks amazing. Look at these feasties made us. Let's eat outside. It's so beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. We should discuss the Easter plans. Mm -hmm. So, Easter is a big deal in our family. Um, Good Friday, we pretty much spend the entire day eating hot cross buns. Mm -hmm. And then we usually get fish and chips for dinner. Mm -hmm. Easter Saturday, we're going to be baking because and cooking food because 
Easter Sunday we have like an epic feast, but this year, and this is a new tradition that's been brought in, this year we're having the the inaugural like Easter dessert baking competition. Oh yeah. Which is off the back end of the lemon meringue. The lemon meringue pie. Yeah. Yeah. I think they were they loved that that much that they wanted to do it themselves. Yep. So we have to make an Easter themed amazing some kind of dessert and it's going to be judged. I actually think that we need to find out the judging criteria. And then Easter Sunday, a whole lot of egg hunting mm. and the annual golden egg hunt. Now we are reigning champs. Three years, four years. Well, three it's weeks. debatable, but I say we've won it every year. Every, every single year since it was created. Yeah. Yeah. Things get really aggressive. People get injured. You might lose an eyeball. You might lose your honour. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Sorry about it. The camera died last night, so we didn't get to end up telling you about the rest of the Easter shenanigans. But it's the day before Good Friday now. But my poor friend, one of my good friends, um, she's got a really, 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 really bad throat infection. So we've just been down to the grocery store. Um, I've bought a bunch of stuff to make her chicken soup. I'm gonna quickly make that for her this morning and then do a little bit of work. We've just also bought all of the hot crust buns for tomorrow. Uh, how many packets of hot crust buns did we get, do you think? Ooh, let's count. There's quite a lot. There's a lot There's going three. on. three. Look at this. This is getting even taller. There's another box at the front door I can add <laughs> to the pile. <laughs> Have you ever seen this many hot crust buns? Oh yeah, so four, seven, 11, 14, 17 packets of hot cross buns. And they will all get eaten. They'll all be, so tomorrow we basically hot cross buns for okay. breakfast, lunch and dinner, the whole family here. So this is my mum's famous chicken noodle soup recipe. She makes it for us when we're sick. It is low key life changing and amazing. Got all the ingredients here. I'm going to quickly make this. I'm going to run it around to Crystal. Oh, you guys, this massive lush box arrived this morning. I'm so excited. I'm excited to open it. Okay, soup is on. I ended up having to transfer it over into a bigger pot because I just made so much of it. But this means that we can have some for us for lunch. It's really, really delicious. So it's just uh, brown onion, chicken stock, celery, corn, a whole chicken, like a whole roast chicken from the deli. I've just basically pulled the chicken off it and then you put the actual like chicken carcass in there to cook and then you pull it out later. Um, and then I'll add some pasta as well to it. It's like chicken noodle corn soup. It tastes so good. Salt, pepper, like seasonings and everything. Um, it is delicious. Brandon has asked if he can have the honours of opening this bad boy. Shall we take it over to him? Yes. What have we got in here? Yeah, what have we got? Oh, the savagery. I live for it. It's like opening Christmas presents. Yep. <gasps> it's Easter. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, look at the little gold bunny. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh my God. Oh, the little cat's in oh, the in boat. A boat. Oh, yes. yes. Lush just is life. Golden egg bath. I'm so excited that this arrived before Easter. Yeah. These things are quite fun. They dissolve in water. Oh, is this a bath bomb or a... Yeah, it's a bath bomb. Bath bomb? How amazing. Look at all of this. The Humpty Dumpty one's huge, actually. This one's cool. It's got, like, blue, like, sparkly, crystal-y kind of stuff in the top. I think it's, like, popping candy. So many bath bombs. I cannot wait. I think I'm going to have to have a bath for some folk. I think it would be rude not to. You're potentially going fishing, aren't you? Maybe. This afternoon. If I get my work done so this is where I'll be. This, this will be my situation. Just here. Okay, it's coming along nicely now. Look at all that good, healthy goodness. That's exactly what a throat infection needs. Here's my little gift basket for her. 
green smoothie juice lemonade icy pearls it's the best thing ever for a sore throat i've also got her easter present notice anything different about the little bunny rabbit it's got eyelashes <laughs> um big thing of the chicken soup i've got a thermometer for her because she doesn't have one and i'm a little bit concerned about her temperature she's on antibiotics um, a bunch of face masks some strepsils for her throat and then a little bath bomb as well so i'm just going to run this around to her house um, and hopefully it makes her feel a little bit better taking mr rabbit outside again and we've got precautions for the palms because I gotta tell you, they can't really be trusted. Look at them all, <laughs> obsessing over the little rabbit. It's all right, girls. <laughs> Come on, let's put your leads on. They think that they're going for a walk now. That Annabelle does. Annabelle, you don't need a lead on. Can, you're a good girl, Annabelle. We can trust you. We trust you not to eat the oh, rabbit. Oh, you put the lead on, oh no. On Emmy. Oh. Oh, she's so lit that this is hard. Emma! She so says she's just out of reach. Whoop! Yeah. Here goes little Dumpy! Emma's a psycho. <laughs> Emma, Dumper, it's okay. Dumper just doesn't care though, does he? No, he doesn't. Are your eyes closed? Brandon's just arrived home <laughs> and he's making me shut my eyes. Where do you think you go? Just follow my voice. Ooh. This way. Don't you let me walk in the wall. No, nah, you're good. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Spin around in a circle. <laughs> Do a curtsy. <laughs> what was that a curtsy, was it? <laughs> Keep coming straight. Oh my god. What Keep did, coming straight. What did you get? What did Turn you Turn to your right. That's my right. Yeah. Now open your eyes. <laughs> There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? No, I have nothing. <laughs> Do I look? Some more plants to add to your family. Oh my god, and you got a Mandy! Yeah. A pink Mandy. Happy Easter. Yeah. I didn't... There was a yellow and there was a red. I didn't like the... I mean, um, a white, a yellow and a red. I didn't like the yellow inside the white. Oh, you didn't... I oh, see, I loved that one. Okay. That was the Mandy. But they didn't have any big ones. So they sold Mandy then? Yeah, they only got big pink ones. But we can. Honey, I love it. You love it? I liked it because it was a pale pink. I didn't think it was oh a. Oh my god, and you got the rubber plant! Yeah. And the pot that I loved! Yeah, and this little pot here with the legs. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I'm so excited, you guys. You have no idea. These are the plants that I'd fallen in love with. That we when we I think we went to the nursery what a week and a half ago. Yeah, two weeks maybe. Um, and Brandon's arrived home with them and in the pots that I love as well. <gasps> okay, so we've named them. This is Mandy because it's a Mandevilla. Mandy Mandevilla, and I can't decide if this is Rodney Rubber or Rhonda Rubber. Or oh. Ruthie Rubber. Ruthie Rubber. Ruthie. Ruthie. <gasps> Ruthie Pusey. Ooh. <gasps> Here we go. Welcome to the home, Rodney Rubber. I keep calling him Rodney, so maybe it is Rodney. Like, is this enough light? Yeah, indirect light. In yeah. Indirect light. Yeah. Beautiful. It does. does. Gosh, it really adds a lot to this room. Yeah. Hells. Yeah. Hells. Oh, Bubba, it's beautiful. I'll get rid of that lamp. Thank you so much, honey. Look at this kid. It's time to relax. Had one beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out cold. And he's done for. Yeah. No, so it's Thursday night and because... Got, we've got Friday feels on a Thursday. Yeah, well, tomorrow's Good Friday, so it's not a real Friday. It's a long weekend. So we've decided pizza and wine night. Tonight, Thursday instead of Friday. Oh, yes, it's Thursday night.
Feels like yeah. Friday. Yeah. The Christmas. feeling's right. <laughs> fixed. Oh my god. I, I don't even think I told you guys this, but I dropped my camera. How long ago was that? It's when we first started vlogging. It was about three weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Dropped it, busted it so bad, the entire lens was busted. I've stolen this lens off another camera and I just dropped it on the concrete table. It's okay. This is why we can't have nice It's not lens. busted. So yeah, anyway, Friday feels, we're ordering pizza. That's what we're doing. Oh yeah, Boom. menu I'll log. I'll go pick a wine. Yes. I look forward to seeing your selection. Okay, you want something more savoury. Talk me through it. Onion pizza. That's interesting. That's about as savoury as it gets, isn't it? <laughs> you won't kiss me for a week. No. Um, well, I'm going to order half and half. Oh, sorry, Bob. Half and half. Half pineapple. Don't judge me. Uh, Hawaiian. <laughs> well, we settled this. Most people, Most people like, like pineapple. Most people like pineapple on pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I like pineapple on pizza. Half Hawaiian, half barbecue chicken, but I actually like barbecue chicken with no chicken. So it's barbecue. No, but it's different to the barbecue because it's got the onion and the capsicum and the ham. Yeah. And the barbecue sauce and the tomato paste. So we're going to go pick some wine for our pizza. And I apologise to everyone who's victimised by how we store our wine. Not on the side, but what do you feel like, bub? Um, probably nothing too pungent. <laughs> oh, see, I was going pungent. A Shiraz Grenache. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? We do like this one. So here is the wine for the night. We'll see how that one goes. And that's it. That was it. All right, so... We've got the live in the lot with mushroom, uh, so hot salami and chili. And yeah, we've yep. got a half Hawaiian, half barbecue with no chicken and a garlic bread. Yep, perfect. Decided while waiting for the pizza to mm. arrive to retrain Jazzy Jasmine onto her new trellis let's, poles. Let's pull her out where we can see her. That's probably a good start. Oh, she's so fabulous and wild, isn't she? Whoa! What's up? She untrained. Yeah, she'll do that. She wants to be wild and free. She does. Well, she's she's a crazy lady. Got a bit of bowing now. I don't like that. You don't like the bowing. No. Nah. It's like a bowing jet. <laughs> are you gonna be able to tell? My jokes aren't great today, are they? When the things are on it? I'm waiting for you to Acknowledge? Acknowledge my joke. <laughs> Get Jazzy now, doesn't she look beautiful? Ta-da! Much more structured, that's for sure. Hey, little Embot. <laughs> Here for a pizza haul, kind of, sir. Pizza haul. Oh, that's yours. That's with mine. Your crappy thin crust. Yeah, it looks different. I hate thin crust. You better taste good. <laughs> snapping necks. <laughs> oh, here's oh, yours. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking that about. Big and that cheesy. That's nasty, and I like it. So it's 10.30 at night now. 10.36 p.m. to be exact. We've been discussing golden egg hunt tactics, yeah. strategies. Um, I was just saying on my Instagram stories, you know, all of this gym training, all of this weight training that I've been doing, like 35... It all, all comes down to this moment. 36 weeks of training has been all for the golden egg hunt. Yeah, that's what we do it for. Revlon sent me this cute ass package with these sunglasses and I just, I can't take them off. They're too fabulous. This is me for the evening. We've prepared and designed a uniform. You will have noticed that Brandon, oh, show us that picture again. Have you got your phone? Oh. <laughs> Brandon's been growing his beard, right? You see here, he's growing his beard at the minute. This is specifically for the golden egg hunt. He's going to shape it, he's going to shave the sides and everything and shape it into handlebars just to be more aggressive, I'm, to look really scary, to throw off. It's basically a destruction technique. I'm not That's sure people is. are ready for I don't the know. pure masculinity and handsomeness of this photo. Well, it's even a video. <gasps> oh, 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 that. Is everything we need. Can we see the video too? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the full video. Yeah, we want to see the full video. Play it. Oh, is it not playing? Play that funky music, white boy. 
Oh. Oh. Wait for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that is also going to be part of our costume, naturally. Um, I've just got to say, you know, we spend our entire year preparing for this, all of the training, um, dieting. It's all about peak physical performance. And I think we're there. You know, I think, I think we've put in the prep work. I think we're ready. Four years reigning champs. That's the title that we're defending. And how about we bring all the palms and then we can set them on the others? Yeah. We can have them attack. Georgie doesn't have that many teeth left, but Emma and Annabelle have got full jaws. They've got full sets of teeth. And Thumper's on our, our team too. He's on our side. Georgie's got a couple of chompers in there. Not many. Not many. Bless the little <laughs> darling angel. And I was practicing. Yeah. That's, that's one of the opponents. That's their ankle. I kill you. It's their Achilles. <laughs> Don't let go of that. Don't let go of it. Don't let go of Annabelle.